ready to go at last. I'm dying to get on with this. But of course, um, I haven't been able to get on with this because um, I've been waiting for you. So it'd be great to get cracking a bit on this today. Okay, let's go. So, so I'm going to do the other side of this face today. This is just the yellow. I've already put a bit of the mustard on. Couldn't resist it. A bit. This is the very pale lemon yellow. Just going around this edge here. Very gentle. Yeah, hardly pressing it at all, really. Um, you may notice I put a couple of bits of blue on there. Uh, yesterday, actually. So. Done quite well to resist things really. Right, I've put some blue up here because this is a very pale, sort of silvery grey. So we'll put some blue on and then we'll put some white on. We'll just see how that looks, I think. See, I'm just keeping that edge very soft there and that'll make it look furry straight away. I've already put some blue on around here. See, you notice I'm not covering all the paper up. I'm just, just use, using, you can see there's little dark flecks in here. Well, that will be the paper. We don't have to put those on again. That's the idea anyway. So we'll just see how this looks now. Let's see this. soft okay now we're gonna do this bit round here just like that Hoping I'm not in the way here. It's a dark grey. Yeah, that's okay, I think. Okay. Right, I'll put some dark grey on here now. Just looking at how the the direction of the fur is starting to come down a bit like that now. Just up and then down. Just soften it up. And then we've got some... We'll just put a bit more lightness in there, I think, under underneath here. Again, you see, I'm following the direction of the fur. I tend to do this anyway for myself. I tend to do this so that I don't lose my place. Otherwise I tend to get a bit carried away and naturally lose where I am. So I, I, although I'm pointing it out and it's good, good for you, I do this for myself. And um, it's yet again another tip that I did get from watching YouTube. Um, just somebody, I can't remember who it was now, but they just said, keep your finger on it and you won't lose your place. And I don't know, it just makes, 
it's more focusing somehow. It just keeps you more focused on the bit that you're doing. Okay, just that, just have done that bit there now. And there's a nice little white bit there. It's quite white, so I can just make it a little bit brighter there. Probably dab it down a bit after. So there was bits there, and a little bit there. I know we've done that already, but I do tend to go over things a bit. That's a bit yellowy there. And then these lines here, coming down like that. And they're a bit darker, just slightly darker. And then through here, like that. And then this is all darker in here, so I'll do that. Just keep smoothing it over, but not too much. You're just gonna be putting extra little lines on top of there. Give it the hairy look. Um, let's get some darkness in here. Because this paper's grey, I'm going to put black straight in here. So again, we're going to use the paper. I'm not going to cover all the grey up, but we're going to put some the little black bits in here. So you can see it's coming down here, like that. And it's kind of just little bits, isn't it, really? some dark bits in here. Um, let's, yeah, I'm going to use black because they're quite strong, aren't they, some of these? Just keeping it very loose on the edge there. Because you can see it's it's hairy, there are bits of hair is going to be coming over here. And then this sort of bit here, that little white bit there, is that bit there. I purposely put that in so that I could just get the curl up there. I just put that little black bit in there, which is where it should go really. And then you can see this line here is what we put in when we were tracing. That line is going across here, the light line. So it's it's much easier to get everything in place. Just soften it over, and then here, um, this is kind of looking a little bit on the sort of OT brown side. But we're going to do it in grey. But we might need to might need to uh, warm it up a bit with the orange. So I'll get the grey and the orange. Just see how that goes. I'll just try a bit on here actually. So we've got the orange, just basic because it's going over other colours. And then we've got the grey. Yeah, so you can see it kind of looks nice browny colour. And then we can lighten it up with the yellow, the, the lemony yellow. Or the mustard. So this will this is what the lemony yellow will do, which is quite nice actually. And then we'll get a darker. Yeah, that's not quite right actually. We want the, this colour really for what we're going to do now. This bit here. Um, so yeah, we've got this. We, we want these sort of OT bits in here. So they're going to come across here like that. Yeah, that's okay. We've got a dark line coming through here. lines coming through here. Like that. Through there. And you can put some grey in here maybe. Maybe up here. Because we've got the grey of the paper but it's a different grey of course.
Yeah, you know, we've got some little grey lines in here. See the lightest touch here. Really, really light. If you go in like that, that'll give it a nice airy, airy edge, like a fluffy edge. And in there. Very light. See, it's such strong. These pencils are such strong um, colour. You don't really have to press very hard at all. On other kinds of paper, as I've said to you before, this would be a totally different story. You wouldn't be able to do this. You wouldn't be able to do this. It would take you a lot longer to do anything. Okay, so I'm just going to go over those to try and get that OT colour in there. It's not too bad. Um, but as you can see, we've got little little hairs going through here, and they're kind of sweeping up and across, going across here like that. So you just just do that, then just tap it. Don't need to rub it in or anything. And then this this is kind of a light grey here. We've got a bit of blue in there, I think. And then this bit here, it's the top of that curl, that needs a bit of something in there, just to give us a bit of a guide. And then this bit, that's that line coming down there, that's quite a strong line. And then it kind of goes up, flares out, and then we've got another dark bit in there. So because we've got all this prepared, we don't have to measure it out, we can just put it on. And then we'll put the little uh, grey marks in there. Very light touch. Very light touch. Got some nice lines here. We've lost a bit along the way, so I want to put those in again. And then nice little sweep up. And then we've got a nice black line going through there, which seems to have just got a bit lost. a bit more like that colour there. It's really all a case of just just do it till it looks okay. I know I keep saying that but that's, that's, a, that's what it's like really. Just do it till it till it you're happy with it. Till you're happy with what, what you've done there. And then we could just do little bits on the end here. Just to give the effect of the throwing out over here. I think I'm going to try and leave the paper because um, if you want me, if you want to see me do a black um, background, we can do that. We can do that later on. I'll do it for you. I'll show you how I do it if you want. Give me your feedback, tell me whether you'd like to see that or not. Right, this, this is getting lighter from here. See, I'm, I'm kind of measuring, I can see that that's, that's quite kind of darker there. Then it gets lighter here. And it's a kind of little patch. Just do it like that. Get a bit more pastel on. This is much paler in the background there. And then that's darker there. It's coming round. You can see you've got like a little round pouch there. 
straight and then round and straight. And then I've just sort of softened that edge with the uh, tell you what you can do with that edge if you'd like to make them more refined. Just wipe that off. This is my colour shaper. You can just do this with it, which uh, kind of gives it a bit more blending, makes it a bit softer, furrier looking. It's nice for edges. And you then you can take the colour into the from the coloured bits into the the other white bits with the colour shaper as well. It's quite nice. This is a bit like painting, I think, because it's it feels a bit like a little brush. So you kind of and then you can go over it again after if you want to. Yeah, you can get some lovely thin streaks in with the brush. But you see, what I'm looking at there is the hairs are going this way. They're actually kind of going like that, rather than down at there. You've got bits that come down and then you've got a little patch that comes from the middle of this white bit here and it's going across like that. See, those sort of things don't take you long to do, but they make a big difference. Then you can put some more in like that. So they're going over the softer bits underneath. see some little bits that are just kind of just you'll find the more you concentrate on these bits the more there is that you find to do but it's nice Be a little bit, bit thicker. It's coming more like this out here, and then you've got little lines coming through here. I think from what I've read on our group, some of you will really like the detail thing, and others of you will just be able to take this idea and just make it very um, impressional, imp like an impression kind of look, which will still give you a, a fantastic look actually. And, and it's what I'm trying to uh, go for more these days really, rather than the really detailed thing. Because in, it's in me naturally to do detail. I just like to do detail. But I think you can overdo it, you know, you don't you don't need to do that to get a lovely effect. You just really don't need to do that. Um, I don't know, it could just get a bit tedious really. And it's great if you love that. It's, it's fine. If that's what you if that's what you love, you just gotta do what you like. They're too light there. They need to be more orange, I think. We'll get some orange in there, I think. See how that goes. And over there, so we can try and get that OT look there. That's better. That's better.
see it's in here. Yeah, it's not. See some nice yellow in here. But that in here, that's it goes in there though. Just try and get those bits filled in a bit. There's a bit of yellow in there. Certainly bits of yellow going up here. Of course there. Let's try and put some in here, I think, because it's not white. A bit grey in there, a bit more blue in there. We need that. See, it's coming from going right up here, really somewhere. Um, I'm gonna try, try and get some of these hairs over here now. That's a nice whisker. See, these are kind of soft, aren't they? They're not, they're all sort of blended. They're not sharp, so I've left it very soft there. I've got slight darkness here. See there? Just very, very slight. Slightly darker there. Very slight. But you don't want to line there. we mix the colours up, we haven't got the exact colour, um, it could look a bit brash I think, so have to be a bit careful about what, what you're going to use there. They're pink, I'll go over those in pink. Look quite dark, so put the grey on first. Now you can use black and white here, you know, both will work, we'll use both. And this is too rounded here. So we'll look at this point here where it kind of 
one straightens out, um, I'm, I'm measuring where it's going to come on in, onto his pupil. It's kind of about here. So it's kind of going down like that. It's about there. So see how slight it is? That, but that is where it needs to then come up. And this is straight. That's what I've got wrong there. That needs to be straight across. That's it. That's better. Then just tap it back. And put in a bit more. There's a bit more whiteness under there. So you can see it's not that sharp. It really isn't that sharp, the point. It doesn't need to be. I did have a sharpen up before I started. So. Trying to get a bit more organised in the videoing side of things. Right now, because this is nice and dark, we haven't quite got this bit finished here, so we won't do the whiskery bits yet. Just. Just try and get that to the right kind of kind of colour. That's quite dark in there, of course. Um, little patches there. Little patches there, little patch here. Just looking at the way that hair coming up you can just see if you look at the picture you can just see it slightly and then which makes it look really nice as that comes down over it but yeah you've got kind of it's come out and now you've got a straight straight line down really more or less to 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 aim for it's slightly inside that bit that comes out so just put it in From that line there, it's coming, it's coming in a bit, in here, up. So you're always using the bit you've done as a measure. Just make sure that the bit you've done is, is right, that's the thing. As long as you've measured it, then it should be okay. But you know, we're doing fur here. It doesn't have to be absolutely exact, but when you've got a good picture like this, if you don't use those lovely lines that's got in the, the fur already, you know, you're miss you're missing out on something. You know, you're just you're not making the most of your picture. You've got a lovely picture like this, which, you know, you'll 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 appreciate how lovely the picture is when you start to draw it. Um, you know, it's just just lovely. It's just great to have. And to find a picture like this that's copyright free is mm, it's very good. It's very good indeed. A lot of the copyright free pro, uh, pictures are. Um, mm, I tend not to like them much. I, I tend to do a lot of my own pictures wherever possible you know if I, t if I take photos all the time and um, it's nice it's just it's your work then it's totally your work if you've decided how you wanted to take that picture and then then you draw it it's it's a nice it's like completing the job really Putting these little bits and pieces in, I can see here. Then we'll soften it all up. Soften it all. When this is all finished, then we can do our bits over the whiskery bits. Um, it's quite tempting to, you know, get on with those. This is lovely and white here, so you can really go for it there. Nice. And then we've got a lovely. You can see this line here, the very, very tip of that is inside this. 
it's actually inside this bit here uh, so you need to be sure that you don't go any further than that really and then this is slightly out um, that's yellow in there that's yellow in there we'll put it in whenever you see a bit that you think oh yeah that's yellow do it keep it in your hand and it's at the ready then because uh, you may forget to go back to it and it just it just helps you keep your place of where you are as well just helps you This is like yellow in here, but I think it needs white in it first. See, although I've, um, although I've put the white on, I haven't really blended it into the underneath yet. Not properly. That just gives it a little bit of a, a seating, really, so it doesn't go too sharp. This line here is nice, we'll keep that straight, straight and then it goes in and then goes down. It's nice to keep things like that. Then that's straight and then it comes down. having your work over to the side like this is you can lean on this bit um, without having to get your glassing paper into position all the time because um, sometimes that can collect powder underneath and it can it can actually um, spoil your work a bit really it can the powder goes over the rest of your work so it's another tidy up job really can't really see whether you can see see what I'm saying or not here but um, uh, yeah, so I've liked, I've liked this. I've gone to great lengths to make it all neat and explain everything in detail for you. Um, and in doing that, I've, I've done this onto the side so you can use all this for making your colour mixing. But I've also realised how great it is not to have to worry about getting your hand on the work. I had to draw all this in again because I rubbed it all off with my hand. Because I was just leaning on that all, the whole time. Um, you don't have to worry about leaning on your work so much with these pencils, but with powder you, you do, because as soon as you lean on it, it all comes off on your hand and then goes on the other bits. So, but this has been really lovely because, you know, you need to lean sometimes to, to really steady your hand. And other times it's best just to lift your hand off when you're doing whiskers. really white you can you can go a bit heavier with this but it, it doesn't want to be it doesn't want to be a block of colour I know that's what we're seeing here and I know I've said oh you know just do what you see but uh, it wouldn't look good it, it really wouldn't look right Go over this with the colour shaper to make it look soft, I think. Oh, that's what, what we'll do. 
and see it's dark underneath there but you've got a bit of yellow so I'll put that yellow in there before we do all the hairy bits. That line there is important to keep. These lines coming down like that are, are important to keep I think because it, it's it takes that block away. See this bit here where it comes out white? That's just on the outside of that. So just use that as a guide. So it's coming out. And this is the direction and it's coming to about there. Just like that. So use that direction and then that bit there is that bit there that we already put in. Kind of horizontal almost. It comes out just a little bit further. Probably a little bit far, but don't worry about that. It's, it's, it's not an issue for this, this really. We're doing hair. Doesn't have to be perfect. I can see this is flat now. Do the slightly in. And then in again. Just here. So when we put the other colours in, it won't be, they won't be so stark. Okay, so we've got this coming up here. Then we've got this. This is the where the, the white fur is coming across there. Then that's our little curl. There. And then that's that bit coming up now. This bit is yeah, right there, and then it's coming across there like that. So yeah, we've got these these bits here, and then these are yellow, of course. We could just pop those in to give us a bit of a, a guide there, but we've got to make all that dark. Let's just soften that white bit up then I'm going to stop because what, what's happened is um, I've made the videos too long. I, get, I haven't been putting my time on properly and um, I've, I've been too long on the videos and so I've had to uh, edit them all. And I didn't want to cut bits out that were important and then the more I looked at them I thought well you know I really want you to have everything. I've told you you'll have every detail and that it's there if you want it and you don't have to you know you don't have to use it if you want to but it's there so there's a lot more video than i'd anticipated spreading it over really. This is incredible paper. If, if if you did this on other paper it would just it would just spread all across and you'd lose all that detail that you just put in. You'd lose all those bits. They would just merge into a mass.
anyway, as I was saying, you've got you've got a lot of video from uh, it. some people might like that, other people are thinking, oh blimey, I thought it was going to be quick and quick and easy. Well, it is easy, um, and you can make it as quick as you want. It's up to you. But for people that want all the detail, it's here, and I've given you every every step that I use. I actually do um, want to want to show you. You know, I'm keen, keen to show you how to do it. Um, I don't want to keep anything back, really. Something like yellow up a bit there. And then you can just sort of see what your finger does with it, see what that does. Just softens it up a little bit, but it just softens the whole thing up a bit. This needs to be softer. Because this is going back, so this bit's forward and should be more detailed. This is all going back, so it needs to be a bit more blurry. And then when you've done that, well, all your white bits that go over, we'll do those when I finish this, all your white bits that go over, your little white whiskers, they'll really stand out very, very well. But they won't stand out if this is all too sharp. So make it blurry. So you've got a lot more light in the picture on this side than you have on this side. So that's all much softer and blurry because it's it's dark. Because the light's on this, you've got a lot more detail. Okay. So I think we'll, we'll leave it there for now. Maybe do a bit later. I would be interested to see to see what you think about the videos and how I've uh, presented them to you because you know I am keen, I'm really keen to learn from this. Um, I'm you know you you might be learning and picking up tips, but I I'm all the time I'm learning and I I, I really would like to make it you know excellent. Um, but I do need your help with that. Because I can't be objective about what I'm doing here because I've never done this before. All I'm, all I'm going by is what um, the way I do things and trying to impart those to you, really. Um, I'm not trying to do anything that I wouldn't otherwise do, apart from moving that over on the paper. I usually just bung it on, get it on and get cracking. But I have I'm now in the future, now I've done this, I will do this again because this is a really good leaning part. Anyway, if you can see me, I can't, can't really see whether you can see me or not, but um, anyway, that's, that's it for just now. Um, I hope I haven't gone over much over half an hour. I've guessed it really, because I forgot to put the timer on. <laughs> I'm so disorganized. Um, anyway, give me your feedback, love to have it. Um, I can take it. You know, I can take it if it's negative, I can take it because I want to learn. So um, anyway, hope you got lots out of this today as well. Um, and uh, catch you later.